guys, it's Annabelle. So I've gotten a couple questions on how I thaw out my frozen breast milk. So if you've seen my breast milk freezing and storing videos before, um, you kind of know how I do it, but I wanted to touch on it here just in case you haven't seen those videos. Um, this is how I freeze my breast milk. Um, I get a pan that fits in my freezer and I lay all of my breast milk bags out on it so they all freeze flat just like this. And we keep all of our frozen breast milk in a deep freeze, um, but we do put it in our refrigerator freezer um, when we know we're gonna use it. So I can fit um, a couple days worth of milk in one of these containers that we have in our refrigerator freezer. And this little container I got at the dollar store and it fits the milk perfectly in there. So they all are flat and they all just file right in there and it makes it so easy. So if I know in advance, um, in the morning I take a few breast milk bags out and I lay them on the counter and you will notice as they thaw out that the cream, the fatty part, separates out from more of the watery part. So if you just take your hand and do this, it helps mix that up. And when you're getting it out of the bag and putting it into either the bottle or into a container to use your bottle warmer, um, just mixing that up helps it come out of the bag a whole lot easier and you're not leaving that creamy fatty part in there because that is the most important part of that. Um, if you need your breast milk in a hurry, so if this isn't completely frozen and my daughter is ready for her bottle, I do put the breast milk bag in a bowl with some warm water in it. And this is what I typically do to defrost my frozen breast milk. So I put the bag in here. This water is already cold because it's been sitting here for about 15 minutes already. Um, and you will notice when you thaw your milk out like this that that creamy part does separate from the a more watery part of your milk. So if you just take it and you just give it a good little mix and I can still feel some frozen chunks in here. So what I will do is I will just um, dump this water out and put some additional warm water in here. And that is how I like to heat up my daughter's milk. Now my daughter right now, she is 16 months old and she doesn't like her milk to be um, as warm. So this method works for that. If your infant likes their milk um, like body temperature or a little bit above, that's how my daughter used to like her milk is um, quite warm. You can use your bottle warmer to heat it up even more. Um, and this also works where if it's like this, it still has got some frozen chunks in it. You can put it into whatever bottle. Um, I do prefer glass to use with my bottle warmer, but I have all of those put away right now. Um, and so I do have this one out. You need a container that's BPA free, that is safe to use with whatever bottle warmer you have. Um, but that heats it up a whole lot quicker. So if you have time, just setting it out on the counter and then putting it in some warm water to warm it up or setting it on the counter, letting it thaw out, putting it in a bottle and putting it into your bottle warmer. Um, that works well also. Um, I do prefer this method. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dump this out. I'm going to put some more water in it and heat it up for because she's going to be ready for this in about 15 minutes-ish. So that will get it nice and warm for her. Um, and mixing it will help you get it out of the bottle. Like I can't say that enough because um, sometimes you will have some of the fatty parts um, stuck in some of the corners and just mixing it before you transfer it into your bottle helps out so much. Um, these are the bottles that my daughter used to use. Right now she uses a straw cup. Um, she is 16 months old so we try to get them off the bottle as quickly as possible. So right around 10, 11, or 12 months we don't do the bottles anymore and we do a sippy cup. But anyways, this is my preferred method for defrosting um, breast milk. Now you want to make sure that you are using um, not hot hot water in here. You don't want to melt this bag in any way. Um, I do not recommend putting them in the microwave. Um, I know some friends and family that have done that but I just I don't like the idea of heating plastic in the microwave whether it's BPA or not. So 
just warming it this way is like the best method that I can recommend and it is personally what we do for our kids. So anyways, I hope that answers all of your questions. Um, please leave a comment below if I didn't cover anything and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.